everybody, so I'm in a different setting today. Um, my boyfriend recently moved into our old dining room, which is actually used to be my bedroom at one point, but uh, now we're putting it to really good use, so yeah, and he knows I'm in here, it's not like I'm sneaking around or anything, so alright, so today I have a Dollar Tree haul. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I went yesterday because the day before went, found a bunch of stuff, and decided that I'd wait till tomorrow to go back to get it. Anyway, um, yeah. So I got a bunch of really neat stuff that I'm happy about, obviously. Uh, <laughs> who isn't happy about Dollar Tree stuff? I mean, come on. But yeah, and then I also have some stuff that I bought from previous hauls that I just haven't filmed. I'd been intending to film, not blah, 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 never got around to doing it, so now I'm going to do it now and add it in after I do this stuff. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Okay, anyway, so moving on to what I got yesterday. Um, so, on one of the end caps, I saw a bunch of different paper products. I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to have those, and like when I went in yesterday and was poking around more, like I found the two that I really wanted, but then I was poking around more and found even more like different ones, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have them, so this is what I got, and I hope they show up because they're super shiny, but these were the first ones. Um, it's, let's see, it's just full sheets, there's like 20 of them, it's just the basic, what is it, 8.5 by 10.5 size. But, like, this pack had, like, a blue full on the front and then a pink full on the back. And I have no clue what other colors are in the package. Um, but I really love the pink full, so obviously I had to get it. And then they also had a bunch of these, which they didn't have many of these. But they had a bunch of these, which were the, um, silver and gold full. And I'm pretty sure that there are different colors in here. Let me open these up just to see. Because I'm curious too. Maybe they all come with the same colors, who knows. But let's find out. But there's 20 sheets in the pack. And oh yeah. It looks like you get like four gold, four blue. Probably four silver, four pink, and four red. So I guess maybe the other pack has the same colors and just a different arrangement of the colors. I won't bother putting those up. Um, but let's see what this other pack has. Pink. Silver. Gold, blue, and red. So they have the same colors in them, just a different arrangement of the colors in the package. Uh, but that's pretty cool because who doesn't love like shiny metallic paper? Alright, so I'll just throw those. It's just on the bed. So next up were the holographic ones, which also have 20 sheets and they're also, I'm assuming, 8.5 by 10.5. I don't even see it anything on the package about the dimensions, but let's just assume it's eight and a half by ten and a half. Um, yeah, so, oh, that's like, yeah. that's lovely, it just ripped open. Okay, so we've got red, we got blue, uh, looks like, I mean, three red, three blue, we got the cold. Which I really like the gold because it has the rainbow. Like, you really get a... Ooh, that's kind of cool. Is that showing up on camera? I don't know. Anyway, there's like four gold sheets. Ooh, I like the pink. There's like four pink sheets. Ooh, I really like the silver. Silver's awesome. It's got that true, like, holographic look to it. Um, four of those. Maybe there's four each one. I'm just not counting. Yeah, there's four. So it's four red, four... Blue, four blue, three blue, huh. what, huh. where's my fourth blue, okay there's the fourth blue one, so yeah, so blue, red, gold, pink, and silver in this one, 
So I'm just going to assume that it's also in this one too. This is another pack again. The colors are just arranged differently. 20 sheets holographic paper. Super awesome. Um, they're not like, well, they're basically like, they're about the, um, thickness of like a basic sheet of piping paper, I guess. <laughs> Maybe a little bit thicker. But that's going to be fun for some crafting, um, for some journaling, junk journaling, whatevs, whatevs. There's all kinds of uses for those. Then they had several of these, which I'm pretty sure I've seen these before. I may have hauled some before. It's sad. I can't remember if I did or not. Um, but I haven't seen these in a long time, and actually I don't think we've had them at my local locations. Uh, I remember seeing them at the Cool Springs location, um, but that's been like over a year ago. Maybe two, actually two years ago. A year. No year. Anyway, regardless. Um, but, so they're just the little pearl stickers, you know. There's 216 in each pack, so I got like a light pink and a white, and I have my reasons for these, but I don't want to go into the reasons right now because, again, it kind of goes with leading up to all the other stuff we talked about in the other videos, what's coming up, um, yeah, so when that comes around, well, it'll make sense. Uh, and then I also got the rhinestone ones, which I had different colored rhinestones, but I didn't really care for the other colors, and so I got pink ones, and there's 315 in this, which that's pretty awesome. But then I got one of these little organizers. Um, it's really not that big, but for a dollar, it's, I mean, I paid more for ones this size from Walmart that aren't the sturdy, which is actually pretty sturdy for like a little plastic organizer thing. But it has several different compartments. It has three, six, nine different compartments. So that'll be good for, um, like, I figure I probably won't use it so much for storage as I will, like, when I'm working on a specific project to kind of, like, if kind of get some of my future projects lined up so that way I'm ready to go whenever I feel up to working on something. But I probably won't use it for actual storage. It'll just be more for, well, when it says organizer, so it'll be more for organizing my upcoming jewelry projects. Found this pack of stickers, a box of stickers. Um... There's a thousand of them. It's just one of those little sheets, those little curled up sheets. There's nine little sheets with stickers on them. And this is the flower set. They had all different kinds. They had the girls, the boys, animals, cars and trucks, and then the flower theme. So I got the flowers. Yay! Also on the end cap, they had a bunch of the paper products and the stickers, like the, well, the pearl and rhinestone stickers. They had these hanging up, which they had a bunch of these um, deco tapes, washi tapes. But, um, I basically got the pink and green, which it says that each of them, they're half an inch wide, and that there's 118 inches in each roll, which that is almost 10 feet per roll, just 2 inches shy of being 10 feet per roll, so I guess that's pretty good. Um, maybe. <laughs> and then this one is just the glittery, the pink and purple glittery, and again, half inch wide, 118 inches per roll. So, yay. Those are so pretty. I love, I love shiny things. So that's pretty darn awesome in my book. And then, finally, yesterday, I'm pretty sure I've held some of these in the past too, but I feel like you can never have too many of these, especially when you're into like junk journaling, mini albums, scrapbooking, whatever. Um, they're just the binder rings. And this is like, there's eight in this pack, which I'm guessing these are roughly other one and quarter inch. Um, I guess that's not diameter. I don't know. Anyway, and then these are one inch and there's 10 in this pack. So those are going to be useful and handy. And I feel like you can never have too many of those for that type of craft. Okay, onward to the next part of the haul. This is the older stuff that I got, like, over the past, probably a couple of months. Like, I think some of the stuff dates back to February. But, um, I was just waiting to do a video, never got around to it. It's just been sitting in bags. So now I'm finally doing my video. Yay! So first up, we have this Benzac stuff. I got all three pieces because they're sold individually. And it's Benzac Acne Solutions. I got the Skin Bouncing Foam Cleanser, which is step one. Okay, and then there's step two, which is the Benzac Acne Solutions Intensive Spot Treatment, which has 2% salicylic acid. And then step three, which is the Blemish Clearing Hydrator, and which I assume that this might be a moisturizer. I really hope it is. 
But they say that they have, let's see, with calming and soothing East Indian sandalwood oil, which I've never heard of um, East Indian sandalwood oil, at least not in skin products. So that's different. And then it says, from the makers of the world's leading branded topical acne prescription medication, Benzac Acne Solutions Regimen is clinically proven to fight acne at source and break the acne cycle. Um, Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've never heard of these brands before, but I hope, like, I'm assuming that this is similar to Proactive, but it doesn't appear to have the harsh chemicals that Proactive has in it. Um, I think I've spoke about this before. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have uh, about how Proactive, like, basically ruined my skin. Um, used to never scar, used it, scarred like crazy, and now I scar, like, just looking at my skin I like develop new scars it's just it's ridiculous so I was kind of afraid of this when I saw it like I wasn't going to pick it up until I started reading that it had that soothing East Indian sandalwood oil so I'm curious because I like natural um natural type of product like natural solutions to things I guess natural ingredients I guess that's what I'm trying to say um so I might try this in which the um moisturizer has 0.5% salicylic acid, which I know salicylic acid is good for like exfoliating, like typically benzoyl peroxide like goes into your skin and like kills the bacteria, which is like great if you have like bacteria-based acne, I guess from my understanding, but salicylic acid is good for like um, exfoliating the surface of your skin, like if your skin doesn't like naturally exfoliate itself as well or shed skin cells, whatever. Anyway, it's good for like shedding skin cells and getting rid of dead skin and like, I think it's also like supposed to be really good for um, like blackheads. So I wanna try this out. I'm kinda scared to try it, but I wanted to film this first. I had this for probably about a month and a half for two months now, just sitting around waiting to fill my Dollar Tree haul. But I've also been afraid to use it because I just recently um, repurchased my Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion, the M Formula Men's Lotion, whatever they're calling it these days, because I like that moisturizer because I know it's a good moisturizer, it works with my skin type, and so it ran out, and I was going for like a week or two without it, and during that time I bought this, but I didn't want to start using it yet, and so I may take a break from using my, my most recent bottle of moisturizer because I know it's a tried and true product. I can go back to it, no problem. But I might use this in the meantime just to see how it does and then hopefully I'll have a review. Hopefully things will be fine, it'll work great and won't give me any problems and then I can review it and be like, yay, happy joy because I've been saying this every time I've gone to Dollar Tree. Like I've been saying especially an abundance of the cleanser. But I've been seeing a lot of all these products at all the Dollar Trees I've been to lately. So we'll see how that works out. And then from around Valentine's Day, I just got some Valentine's stickers. There's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Heart stickers, great for projects, blah, blah, blah. Awesome sauce. Um, then I found, found a bunch of these movies. Well, not much. But I've been buying a bunch of movies, and these are some of the most recent ones that I've bought that I have not watched. Actually, I take it back. I have watched Pumps Up with the man because it has Paris Hilton and we just have this stupid mutual bonding over Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie and the Simple Life and it's just kind of like we yeah um anyway this is a dumb movie but she has an XLR a Cadillac XLR which is like my dream car in this movie so just because of that I love this movie just saying but it really it's a dumb movie but it's entertaining it's stupid entertainment and we love stupid entertainment um, and then we got three other movies, and this one's Suburban Girl with Sarah Michelle Gellar and Alec Baldwin. It looked entertaining to me. Um, Come Early in the Morning with Ashley Judd. I don't know. Chick flicky things. I love chick flicks. And then I Am Redfish with Jay Barishwell. Barishwell? I forgot how to say his name. I've seen him a million times on interviews and never paid attention. I liked him when he was on the show, Barely Legal or whatever, where he was like a young lawyer. Anybody remember that? It's just me. I don't know. I loved that show back in the day and then it got canceled. It was on like 
the WB, CW, whatever it was at the time. Anyway. And then Alexis Bledel, everybody knows her from Gilmore Girls. Um, yeah, well, it's entertaining. Plus it has DJ Qualls, which he is a Tennessean, love Tennessean actor, so woo. And Katie Sagal, which, uh, she was on Married with Children. She's also super awesome. Pick Bundy, shout out, woo. Okay, um, so that was the movies. And then, got some My Little Pony Kleenexes, because these are really handy to have with you everywhere you go. I'm pretty sure I've hauled this before. It's just the blue sequin ribbon stuff. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've hauled this, bought it before, and I just, <laughs> I like throwing it at myself, and there's nine feet of it, um, about a quarter of an inch wide, and yeah, can never have enough of that. And then I've only seen this once, it is lace ribbon, there's only three yards, five eighths of an inch wide, but it's just like a little, I don't know if that detail will pick up or not, but it, yeah, it's just a little lace trim. I love lace. Like, I'm obsessed with lace when I knit. I just love knitting lace. Like, my knitting projects are mainly lace projects. So, this is something that I just had to have in my life. And I wish I had more of this. Like, this one is a little bit of an off-white color. Um, I would have loved it if they had, like, actually bright white for various reasons, but whatever. Um, still a great, excellent deal. Can't pass up lace. And this one thing is not a Dollar Tree item, but I got it at Big Lots recently, actually like two months ago. It's just the, um, have I hauled this? I may have already hauled this. If I've hauled this, please excuse me. <laughs> I'm just thinking like, did I haul this or not? Seems like I did record a video with this, but at the same time, like, maybe I didn't. Maybe that's just all in my head, but it's the Revlon Lash Potion. Um, mascara and Black is Black paid three dollars for it. I don't know if that was a good deal or not, but to me it was a good deal at the time because I've heard about this, heard good reviews, I've been wanting to try it, never thought about like every time I've been in the store, so I haven't ever bothered looking at it in the store, but um three dollars I was like sure why not. And finally my last stuff is just gardening stuff. Um I don't want to go into too much detail about that. Uh have a box of bird and butterfly wildflower blend mix stuff. I love wildflowers. Um, I want to do my fairy garden. I always talk about doing my fairy garden. And then I got several seeds on a couple of occasions. I got the snapdragon um, flower garden mix, blue perennial mix, blue and cottage garden mix, blue. I love my flower mixes. I used to not be a flower person. But, like, I love the variety of flowers. Like, I don't, I'm not too crazy about just one type of flowers. Um, and plus, I've, like, kind of got burnt out when I was younger with flower seeds because they always had these little kids seed kit things with flowers. And it's the same flowers every time. I'm just kind of like, bleh. Um, so, I like a mixture of stuff. I like a mixture of stuff anyway, just because that's how I am. Um, and then some other ones I got were the aster seeds. The zinnias, which these are some that I got really burned out, but these look really pretty. Um, could be just deception of, you know, the photograph. But a uh, perennial mix, which I think I just got another one of those, it appears. Um, and cottage garden, which I know I got another one of those. But I like them so much that I had to have duplicates, apparently. And then, let's see, I've got some old stuff in here that I won't show. But then, my my honey, my sweetie pie, my love up and got me this rock that says dream, which I thought that was really pretty, and that would go really good with my fairy garden. So that is going to go out in the fairy garden, and for my church, like in the bulletins, um, I think it was Easter Sunday morning, they like put these little card things that were shaped like flowers, they're just little miniature cards. Um, and the flower was, like, made out of some kind of recycled paper that has seeds in it, like wildflower seeds in it. So, I plan to plant those in my little fairy garden, but this, like, with that, because it's sweet, it's wonderful, it's fabulous, and that's the plan, and I'm sticking to it. If you manage to sit through all of that and watch this whole long haul, because I know it's going to be long, because I can't shut up, I have to go in the description of everything, blah, 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 blah. Um, but if you managed to watch it all, thank you for watching, and I will see y'all soon.